If you wanna make some beautiful, royally iced sugar cookies this year, but you don't wanna spend hours piping on intricate little details, then you and I have a lot in common. And these painted sugar cookies are the solution. The first thing we're gonna to have to do is whip up the royal icing. You're gonna add three cups of powdered sugar, one tablespoon of meringue powder, which you can typically find in either specialty craft stores or in the baking aisle of your grocery store. And I'm gonna start with about a quarter cup of warm water and see what our consistency is looking like after a little bit of mixing. We're gonna mix at first on low and then we'll crank up the speed to medium high. It's been about 45 seconds. Now we're going to check for consistency. Here's what I'm looking for. I want for the icing to easily stream and fall all in one stream very slowly. As you can see this one, it streams and then it globs and it kind of stops and then goes again. That's not what we're looking for. A lot of times royally iced sugar cookies will call for a piping icing and a flooding icing, but your lazy baker friend, I don't do that. One icing it is. So what we're wanting is a middle of the road consistency that will serve as both the piping outline and the flooding icing. So I'm just gonna add about one more tablespoon of water and see if it gets me right where I need to be. Let's see where we're at now. And this is pretty much it, folks. Now to add just a little teeny bit of flavor, I'm gonna add some almond extract. Almond extract is clear, it won't add any color to your royal icing, so if you want it to stay a nice, vibrant white, almond extract is the way to go. If you don't mind adding a little bit of a yellowish tinge to it, vanilla works great. Just a tiny splash, a little goes a long way. The sugar cookies have already been made, rolled, and baked. We did this just a couple videos ago, so if you are looking to make the greatest sugar cookies ever, you're probably gonna need to check that video out too. So what I'm gonna do is lay these little trees down here on a large work surface lined with wax paper. I'm just gonna take the tip off of my pastry bag here, fold over the edges, and slide in a round tip with a little tiny opening. I've got a good scooping spoon here, and I'm just gonna add a couple scoops of the royal icing into the bag. Okay, now we're gonna take the royal icing and we're just gonna trace the outline of the tree just like so, and then I will let it zigzag all across the middle, and I'm gonna keep going with every single one of these trees. The royal icing is down, and now I'm just going to use the sharp tip of a knife to come in and just bring together any little spaces that have not filled in. These will need to set up for about two to three hours. You absolutely cannot paint your royally iced cookies until they are entirely dry. I have actually already iced a batch. They're dry and it's time to decorate. Now for this part, you're gonna need just a few tools. You'll need two little bowls, some food safe paint brushes. You can usually get these in the baking aisle as well. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon and a half of cocoa powder to this little bowl here. Now I'll pour in just a splash of water and stir. And what we're looking for is a consistency just a little thicker than a paste. Now we've ended up with a little bit of a glob. So I think that means we need a splash more. Okay, this is exactly what we're looking for here. It's sort of just like a thick little liquid and that was probably about three scant tablespoons of water. Next, I'm gonna add some green food coloring to a bowl here. This is gel food coloring. It's just a little bit more pigmented and a little more vibrant than a liquid food coloring would be. And I'm gonna add just a splash of water, stir this up, time to paint some cookies. This cocoa powder mix here is gonna serve as the trunk for our gorgeous, royally iced Christmas trees. Here is where it gets really beautiful. I'm gonna make some swooping motions across the tree just like this. And now I'm gonna come in in the other direction 
and do the same thing. I wanna wish you guys the merriest Christmas. If y'all are on the hunt for more holiday recipes, be sure to check out my Christmas cookies playlist next.